Each year, EMS personnel respond to millions of calls for help. Whether a call is for an acute illness, such as cardiac arrest, or for trauma from a motor vehicle collision, all patients expect that trained professionals will respond to their calls and provide the highest quality care. To ensure that the quality of care provided to all patients is appropriate, EMS providers must complete a standardized curriculum that includes passing a comprehensive practical examination that leads to certification or licensure as an EMT intermediate or EMT paramedic. A well-rounded understanding of the intermediate and paramedic level skill stations will prepare you to pass the practical examination conducted in your state. This examination is designed to assess your ability to provide safe and effective emergency care for patients you encounter. While some states use their own skill measurement tools, most states use the National Registry Practical Examination to fulfill this requirement. This program covers each of the National Practical Exam stations. The skill stations that comprise the practical exam at the EMT intermediate and paramedic level are patient assessment and management, adult ventilatory management, cardiac management skills, IV and medication skills, pediatric skills, and random basic skills. The paramedic candidate must also successfully complete an oral station. Each of these stations assesses the candidate's ability to perform specific basic level skills involving assessment and management of an injured or ill patient. The different modules in this program address the important aspects of each skill station. These include the equipment used at the station, key steps that candidates must perform in order to successfully complete the station, critical errors that would result in failure of the station, and the examiner's role in the station. You should not focus on just memorizing the sequence of a skill. Just doing the steps without an understanding of why you are doing them does not make you a proficient pre-hospital provider. Station examiners have been chosen based on their expertise in the skill they will be evaluating. Examiners provide candidates with the information necessary to perform the skill at each station and objectively evaluate and record student actions. Skill examiners are not there to trick or fail students. They explain the goal of the station, allow students to check the equipment, provide the station scenario, and document student performance against the criteria on the written performance sheets. The performance checklists represent a logical way to perform the skills in order to properly assess and manage a particular situation. Just because a candidate misses one or more steps in a particular skill does not mean that he or she automatically fails the station. Candidates fail a station when they perform actions or fail to perform actions that would cause harm to the patient or to the rescuer. These actions or inactions are what comprise the critical criteria for each skill. Remember that the lack of practice with any skill can turn a relatively simple practical skill exam station into a frustrating event that can increase your anxiety and lead to mistakes. Be sure to practice all of your skills until you are certain of your proficiency before your final skill exams.